Hello, and welcome to today's MS4 employee training. Today, we will be talking about pesticides and fertilizers. When properly used, fertilizers and pesticides can help promote healthy turf grass without impacting the natural environment. However, improper application or overuse of these chemicals can pollute our groundwater lakes and rivers and harm human, pets, and wildlife. Pesticides are toxic and must be carefully used and stored. Improperly applied or spilled chemicals can harm the environment and are expensive to clean up and properly dispose of. If fertilizer is over applied, it can also flow into nearby lakes and wetlands, causing algae to grow quickly. The result is smelly green water that is sometimes unsafe for swimming. In many parts of Minnesota, public and private wells have been contaminated by nitrates from fertilizer, and the water is no longer safe for babies and pregnant women to drink. Proper management of pesticides can reduce or eliminate the risk of spills and leaks and will ensure compliance with state and federal regulations. Employees responsible for pesticide application must receive training to be certified pesticide applicators or registered technicians. Special training may be required for applications near water. Maintain safety data sheets and records of the shipment, storage, and use of all registered pesticides. Proper storage minimizes the risk of accidental human exposure and helps ensure safety in case of spills or leaks. Municipalities should consider implementing integrated pest management programs on all municipal properties, not just public buildings. While this does not necessarily eliminate the need for pesticides, it will decrease their use as well as storage and handling needs. This will reduce risk while saving money and time. When a private company is used for pest management, make sure they meet all state and federal requirements and your pest management needs. Register pesticides require special storage and handling. Use these tips to reduce risks. When mixing or loading pesticides, use special equipment such as anti-siphoning devices and shutoff valves to reduce backflow and spills. Always have a spill kit ready at loading and application sites. Mix and load pesticides in an area of low traffic that minimizes potential human and environmental exposure. Store pesticides in original containers, off the floor, and away from any drains. Always keep a materials-rated fire extinguisher near storage areas. And file a floor plan of pesticide storage areas with your local fire department and work with them to schedule annual inspections. Know what signal words and symbols mean and always use the least toxic products available for your purposes. Not all lawns are created equally. For example, play areas may need different ground cover than athletics fields. If an area isn't used at all, consider replacing grass with alternative landscaping. Use only turf grasses and ground cover that are Minnesota hardy. For example, some varieties of perennial ryegrass and Kentucky bluegrass. The best option for free, natural fertilizer is to leave grass clippings in the lawn and allow for natural decomposition. If commercial fertilizer is necessary, choose one that is phosphorus free. Test soil to determine an area's nutrient needs and follow the recommendations from the test. The University of Minnesota Extension will do soil testing. You can find this information in the video description. Spot treat weeds rather than using two-in-one weed and feed products. Mow at a height of at least three inches to promote deep roots and to shade out weeds. And use the right amount of fertilizer. Too much natural or manufactured fertilizer can be a pollutant. Fertilize with care. Because of the big problems caused by phosphorus, state law requires that we always use a phosphorus-free fertilizer. Unless you are seeding a new lawn, or if soil testing reveals a phosphorus deficiency. Now, if you ever happen to overspread or spill your fertilizer, always clean it up. Either place a spillage back in the bag or back on the lawn. Never, ever blow or wash the fertilizer into the street. There are multiple environmental concerns that arise while using pesticides and fertilizers. Pesticides can drift in the wind and unintentionally expose people, pets, wildlife, and the environment to pesticide residues. 
This can cause accidental damages and health threats, even killing non-target species. For best results, apply on days with wind between 10 and 3 miles per hour. If you don't carefully read and follow the directions on the labels for pesticides and fertilizers, you can easily overapply them. The excess chemicals can remain on the surface and become a hazard to people, pets, and wildlife, or run off into storm drains and surface waters. Frequent exposure to particular pesticides can cause some pests to develop a resistance, ultimately requiring more frequent applications or rendering them ineffective. Using a pesticide not specific to the target pest or the target's life cycle is not only ineffective in managing the pest, but can result in accidental damages and killing non-target species. Work with local experts to determine your specific soil needs and threats to an area. This will save you time, money, and effort, while also protecting the environment, people, and animals from excess nutrients and chemicals. Before applying pesticide, determine if the lawn has a widespread or minor weed problem. For small problems, spot treat as opposed to broadcast treating. Broadly applying pesticides over large areas increases the potential for damage to non-target species and contaminated runoff entering storm drains and surface water. Applying pesticides to or near surface waters may require special permits. Thanks for protecting our water resources.